Good morning, y'all. Today is September the first, second, and um, I just want to say good morning. So does somebody else, but she's still cold, so or she's kind of asleep still. So um. I'm just going to lay her down real quick and yeah, she just woke up so excuse me for a minute. Um But yes, good morning to y'all. Okay, just put on pacifier. It's normal. That's normal. Yeah. Um, so I just want to say good morning to y'all. And yesterday was a very special day. Um, it was my anniversary, my first month anniversary with my baby. And Today, um, is another day and I'm off. So, um, yeah. She did not want to look at the camera today. Um, so, she was probably cold, but, um, yeah, anyways, good morning, and, yeah, so, good morning to y'all, stay tuned, um, mm-hmm, anywho, hope you guys enjoy this beautiful day, I'm gonna show you guys how to, um, make some food, I'm gonna lay her back down. Um, so the first baby I'm going to feed is her little sister right here, and she loves to eat. So, I have some very good food for her, and right here, I've already put it on a container for her. Um, and so it's kind of like chunky but soft as well. It is called uh, um She likes anything that has flavor. So, she gets to have her bottle. And usually, I don't post anything. Unless her food's already made. But her food is made, so I'm just going to feed her real quick. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. And then the Amazon said it was going to be here at 8, but it's probably going to be here around 9. Or later. I got a, like a notification or whatever. Oh. I'll have it later. Okay. But if it doesn't come, I'm gonna plan on calling them again. Um, because I 
already ordered it yesterday. Yeah. And what is it? um, it's it's a doll. It's it should be here. Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried about it, but like. Yeah. I already ate like three of my raviolis already. <laughs> I knew I should have bought the other ones, but. Uh, yeah. All right, so got to get you some wipes. Um, so hold on, gotta get her some food, get this muscle cleaned up, and I want to get. A little more bites in. Sorry about that. So she ate a decent amount of glasses. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna get her changed. <laughs> I use vinegar. Love you, mommy. I use vinegar. Not vinegar. Huh? Oh. I that didn't work. Okay. Usually, this works perfectly. Oh. Um, take a cover and put it in the fridge, and then I'll microwave it later. That it smells good. Hi, mommy. <laughs> okay, thank you.
So I just clean it out like this. Oops. I'll do it in the sink. But since she had a lot of stuff, I'm just going to lay her down here and oh, get in my blanket. And uh, we are going to Um, I don't even know if I have any more diapers for her. If not, I usually just find something that will work. Um, I'll just grab whatever I can and I just put her on her on that and then I'll feed her some more um, only because she eats a lot so we am just gonna feed her a little bit here and there um oh, okay oh, I guess she's not gonna right. um So I tend to just feed her whatever she'll eat, um, and then I just grab as much food for her. She usually eats anything, so um, yeah. So if it doesn't work, I give her this. I'll give her that and I let it sit for a minute and then I grab a little white clean her neck or clean her shirt and I usually give her a bath um I like to give her a bath just to bring whatever she has Go in. Um, so we're going to undo this. Yeah. Gonna take off her beautiful dirty shirt. <laughs> um, and we're going to give her a quick. And, um, since she does have food in her hair now, I'd like to take this off her head and her little hair ties off. And, um, uh, and I always keep her rubber bands for her hair. And, Gonna take her to the back. So you guys can come. I gonna do this. Sorry if your feet are in the way. Um don't know if you can see. You can see. Now we're going to just get her into the bath. And I do like to make sure she has most of her food inside of her. 
Hmm. So I just go like that and then I'm not sure that if okay. Now it's all clean. Now she's halfway clean. She had her, her hair to be washed. So I grab this here and I turn it this way. Okay. Usually she likes to sit this way. It depends on how she wants to sit. And I just start rubbing some soap under her her hair. And y'all may be wondering why I uh you try to lay soap on her because it gets whatever I need out of her hair. Oh, make it smell good. Doesn't make her hair smell like food or anything. Um. So, yeah. I'm just gonna clean this. I'm gonna get her hair all scrubbed. I don't know if you guys can see me, but, um, hopefully you guys can hear me. And, I usually do this twice a day, if she eats so that. And, um, I'm going to turn you guys this way so you guys can see me. There we go. Um, so it's her hair low-key be, like, how it is. Um, I'm gonna scoot it back. There we go. Um, check this before. Okay. Um, just because of how her hair is, I usually just do two squirts or three. I'm gonna just get in between her hair and I just moisturize it like this. And usually I would just grab her hair like this just scrub it good get in between like that and then you want to wash it i like to go like this because most of her hair is low key has to be completely dry so I have a blow dryer that I'm going to use and I'm going to turn her around so her face not in her face and usually since she's a really good girl she likes to have her hair blow dry so I'm gonna get her hair done today. So I have an idea of what to use on her hair. And just lay back so I can get the top and the sides rubbed up. Um, I always like to do three scrubs, three good scrubs to make sure that her hair is completely not has any soap in it. And I gotta make sure this hair has to be completely out. And as you guys see, her hair has a texture. 
so I'm gonna just go like that. And I'm gonna go grab a towel real quick. Um and we're gonna dry it. I have a washcloth here, so this usually wakes her up here, and she is tiny, so I'll always make sure that she has, her hair is wet still, so we usually, for me, um, it's going to be all clean. For me, I always like to um, I like to have her sit here, and then I just use this here, and we going to. And I always fold, I'm going to start blow drying her hair because her hair literally dries quickly. And it's good for me because I don't have to worry about drying it. And it's dry, it's a little damp, but it's okay. Um, I think it usually works the best is just to blow dry the parts where you need it blow dry um since i do i'm going to be right back i have something that will help i always use and it broke. Perfect. <laughs> um, I think I have something. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. So I always use something that's gonna hold her hair up when I am going to blow dry the wet. And let's grab this part here. And I will dry the sides because they're so wet. And since y'all may think that um, it's actually pretty easy to blow dry her hair. It's just you gotta grab most of her hair and just start blow drying it. And once you wanna get some of it blow dried, you wanna just use your hand. We want to get 
I'm gonna move your hand down. You don't wanna, um... And then you want to use a brush just to make sure you got the layers the way you want it. Um, since her hair is a little bit thinner, um, I do two different things for her hair. Um, only because it works perfectly. And you just want to make sure it's dry um so since her hair is still a little bit damp I'm going to use it again and you just want to make sure you get all this And since it's going to be a little bit different, I like to make sure that her hair is dry and it's not as damp as it was. Um, I use most of this as a tool for me because I like to do hair and stuff and I do my own hair but um it's not as easy as doing a doll's hair and for me I just try to get as much hair dry and her hair is completely dry the top I have to go over to um, do it again but the back I like to do the back first um, and I make sure the top is completely done as well So we just go over Over it like that. And now that her hair is completely dry, I'm going to brush it. And it's easier when it's dry to be brushed. It's not like when it's wet, it's not easy to brush. Trust me. I like her hair a little dry or somewhat dry. Only because she has so much beautiful hair and her hair has, I like it wet too, but once I want to style it, it's 
got to be flat. And I usually just like to grab her hair like that with her brush day. Or today she's just going to have a regular ponytail. Nothing fancy, just a regular ponytail. Um because it's just a regular day. Oh yeah, and then I also have something that usually works for her hair. And I'm going to put this on. I usually just like to like rub it in but I'm gonna put she likes to have oil in her hair so I'm going to um just put a little there and then I have this curling comb my hair is naturally curly so to make it even more curly it's kind of her hair is kind of curly and straight so to make it a little bit curlier I go look I just grab a decent amount and let's just start putting it in. Okay, so see. There we go. And I just like to like put it in, moisturize it in. I like to go grab her hair like this and just rub it in because. Most of all, if it's not like this, her hair is very curly. Or her hair is very straight if I don't put anything in it. So I just grab a decent amount. And I wash it all at night anyway, so I don't have to worry about her hair being damaged. Um, Y'all don't have to do this to your dog's hair, but I do since I'm being creative. And since I love being creative, I always try and make sure that her hair is a texture of I love it and not is it going to be bad. So, so, this is how her hair looks now. But, wait until, wait until I brush it out and then I lay, I put it in a bun or like a hair tie and then I'll be curly. So I'm going to brush it out right now. I brush her hair out a lot. Only because I'm going to do some. I'm just going to do something really cute with it. Put it in a ponytail. Even though it's not that cute. But I'm going to put it in a ponytail. Um, so I'm going to do that. And just do it like that. And then. Since her hair is in a ponytail. Or is all gelled up. I have this here. Oh. A rubber band. And it's kind of like a split back. So she just gotta wait a bit. And in the morning, I, or at night, I wash it out, and her hair is completely good. So this is what she looks like. 
look at this cutie all flicked back her hair looking beautiful and then I have this little thing I use I'm gonna use some a little bit of this oil here and I'll just go along the edges and I'll make sure that the edges are perfect and I just rub it in to like her edges and I make sure it doesn't get into her eyes so when I wash her hair it will get into her eyes so I always make sure I clean it off first and then I um yeah so this is what she looks like again cutie pie looking so cute um so yeah that's the end of the video hope you enjoy it stay tuned um so stay tuned hope you enjoy thanks say bye let's go play she wants to go play so i'm gonna go let her play all right peace out